Hey, air signs. Hi. Hi there. All right. Welcome into a new week. Happy Monday to y'all. This is uh, your November 19th reading. going to use this deck today, the Mystic Mondays deck, which is super cool because it's Mystic Monday. And we are going to use this new deck that someone sent me, the Oracle of Mystical Moments. So it's, it is a Mystical Monday, guys. This is my first time using this deck, so uh, this will be fun. <laughs> um, so let's see what's going on for you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is happening for you? Um, we are doing a second class of the uh, Building Your Spiritual Business um, tonight. That's awesome. On Monday nights, we do those, and we'll probably do another round of this in late January. So just FYI. Um, also this week, we, are, we have two workshops going on. One is about reading your birth chart, and the second one is about specifically about the North Node that can show you your path. Embracing that is your path. So those links are below if you want to join. That's Wednesday and Thursday of this week. So the rest of the holiday uh, love readings, Thanksgiving through Christmas, will be up the rest uh, by the end of this week. Gonna have some travel at the end of this week, so um, you know, lots going on. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is happening for you? All right, let's do this. Let's do it. Mm. <laughs> Queen B. Oh boy, I like that. Let's see the journey. I'm going to read you a little bit about of, the, of this book. Rose Garden. Oh my goodness. The feminine energy here is very strong. The queen rules the hive. This is likely uh, going to be some kind of twin flame connected reading. Right. So queen bee is, uh, let's see here. Strength, growth, motherhood. Madam Queen Bee is big and strong, yet gentle and mothering. Her skirt is a flower tower, a home for bees to sustain our ecosystem. She gives strength, power, and life to her surroundings. That's a strength card. That's a Leo energy, that feels to me. This is the journey that you're on, that you've chosen. This is a 19 card, which is a sun card, more Leo energy to me. Um... Love of adventure, curiosity, appreciation. A young girl gently rides a deer. Both the girl and the deer are having fun on their adventures, playful and curious. Sometimes we get so caught up in the destination, we forget to appreciate the journey. Wow, word to that, right? Seriously. Uh, rose garden, serenity, sensitivity, awareness of nature, integrated whole, strength, more Leo energy. She is not alone. Her friends, the caterpillar and butterflies, are here to visit. Look at this beautiful woman who holds, who has transformed into a flower. She holds the blooming rose to the place where her heart belongs. A rose is beautiful and strong because of its thorns, not despite them. So you can see here a lot of feminine energy. And, you know, you might have gone, you might have been through a lot of stuff and this feminine nurturing energy, this is part of the journey, is to, is to have those situations that prick us or hurt us in order to become strong. Um, I'm gonna do a video for the other channel about learning to trust again after difficult situations. So this to me is uh, one of those situations where you're getting a new opportunity on your journey. It's also like an invitation to you to enjoy the journey. Enjoy it. Like, like a, you know, when you're first starting a new relationship, I can feel like that. Some of you watching here are starting something brand new. Enjoy the excitement of it. Enjoy the, the moments where you're, you know, new lover, you're new to this person. Enjoy those moments. The bubble love phase, the limerent phase where we see each other kind of through rose-colored glasses. There's the rose again. And the past situations that have made you stronger, really learning about them, okay? 
So let's use this Mystic Mondays deck. One card for you, my darling. Temperance, right? Balance. Oh my God, my allergies are so bad today. I apologize. Temperance, that's Sagittarian energy. So, so far we're dealing with a um, Leo and a Sag. This is you being very patient. Three of Cups. That is likely a date or some kind of party, some kind of situation. Um, it's the calm, it's the are we together phase, it's the dating phase, it's the I want more phase, right? It's what's going on right now. Lovers, Gemini energy. There you are. Ooh, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Flamingos. Let's see how you're seeing this. I'll talk about the whole reading when I see it. Oh, I got two here. Yeah. You might have really gone through some shit. <laughs> Five of swords, ten of swords. Two of them came out. I'll take two. Okay, usually I'll get one here, but... Um, Six of Cups. All right, so this person is coming back to you. Could be a past life person. I feel like this, if you were together with this person and this is a new beginning, um, it did end badly at one point. And so now this person's coming back to you. So you're worried or wondering or nervous that the might, same thing might happen again. Let's see about how this other person is looking at you. Nine of Cups. <laughs> I think your nervousness is for nothing, okay? I feel like, okay, trust but verify, right? So the queen bee, the nurturing, done some good work for yourself, the journey here, the thorns, you are um, recognizing things about relationships that you might not have recognized in the past or you might be overly nervous about this reconnection. Message to you from the, your higher self. I don't feel like this person, let's see. Six of Wands. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, baby. That's good. You got Lovers and Six of Cups and Six of Wands. So you're overcoming this fear. The universe is telling you it's okay, all right? Um, message to this other person. I feel like you're taking your time, you're doing your thing. Queen of Swords. We'll get a clarity around that. This person has, this person, <laughs> thank you. This person has clarity that this is what they want now. All right, so if you were together with this person at one point in the past, could have ended badly. Wheel of Fortune. This is the subconscious piece of this. You know this is moving forward. You know that this is a faded, destined relationship. You know it, okay? Five of Wands. All right, so Five of Wands for this other person. I feel like they are conflicted a little bit here. We're going to get some clarity around that right now. You feel like this is a destined, faded thing. I feel like you have gotten over the past. Why is this Five of Wands here? High Priestess, Page of Pentacles, Empress, Princess of Swords. So there are messages here of making it real. This person, high priestess, may not be very good at communicating their feelings. Okay? They may, I feel like they do have a lot of love for you. Uh, Venus energy here. It's, it's almost like it's not really about you, their struggle. It's their inner connection that needs tuning. All right? They're very clear that you're who they want. But their inner... Um, alignment is a little wacky they need more information page of Pentacles page of swords so this person is definitely um, 
it has this page energy of I need to know more. I'm wondering why my internal. So this person could have had uh, an issue with um, with commitment in the past. They could be a Sag. I see Sag Gemini here. Sag, a lot of Sag energy here. This person could have had a lot of problems in the past with um, conflict around bringing something together. They need freedom. Let me get more on this Queen of Swords up here. Nine of Wands, baggage, definitely. Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Four of Wands underneath. So this person is getting over this kind of conflict that they have, okay? Nine of Wands, Eight of Cups, walking away from their baggage. Brand new beginning, Four of Cups. So if you're... If you're the one, if you're looking at this person, you're like, I know we're going to be together. I know this is fated, destined. Yes, this is a past life soulmate coming back together with this person or somebody from your past. And it was really bad before. It went really badly. Something was, um, there was a lot of hurt around the last time. So now when you're coming back together, you it's not a clean slate necessarily because you do have this history with this person. So this Queen of Swords sees, this is a message from the, higher, from the higher self to this person. See how you're being with this person. See yourself more clearly. You've had some baggage in the past, and that may be why you walked away from this person. But this is a new start. This is a new beginning here. Ace of Wands, Four of Wands. This person just has to get their inner self together. Okay, I'm saying that to you. High Priestess, Empress, there's a lot of deep love here for you. All right, so let's see where we go with this. Link is below for you, uh, Air Sign. We will look at, uh, let's see, I had a whole nice little list of things I wanted to do in the extended. Um, we'll look at this person's true feelings. We'll look at their intentions with you. We'll see where it goes. I will look at, I will look at Fire Signs. Fire Signs, Pisces. And it could be another air sign in terms of a Gemini. Because I see Queen of Swords up here, okay? All right, link is below for you. I'll see you over there.